Natalie is quickly becoming a show favorite. I love this. So we've got our, our Abra Bitcoin analyst, Natalie Brunel, back with her weekly Bitcoin breakdown. What's going on, Natalie? Hi, Bell. Well, it's so good to see you and hello to everybody. You know, there's so much in the news. And once again, like you mentioned in your price analysis, nothing is really triggering Bitcoin to go back into the high 40s or gosh, don't you miss the, the 50s and 60s, um, but a great accumulation period because it's also, but it's also not dropping. So I think this is a good sign. But I think the biggest headline, the one I want to start with and really focus on right now is 401k. So Fidelity, it's the largest retirement planning company, the largest issuer of 401ks in the country, they will allow investors to add Bitcoin directly into their 401k retirement accounts. So there is going to be a ceiling that is placed on how much you can allocate by employers and they can decide how much, but the maximum cap is expected to be no more than 20% because so many companies still find this to be a very risky asset. But this is a huge move because it's going to allow first-time investors to gain exposure to Bitcoin without having to have a separate account on a crypto exchange. So why else is this huge? Fidelity is the biggest company with $2.4 trillion in 401k assets. So let's say, let's be really bullish about it. If 20% was allocated to Bitcoin, that could really potentially move the price. Uh, guess who signed on as one of the first employers? I'm sure it won't be a hard guess. Michael Saylor's MicroStrategy, of course. He's going to allow employees to be part of this plan. And I'm just going to take a wild guess and say that he's going to max out on that you know, 20% cap. But I really think that this is important to put into context because I think this, this news places a huge spotlight on the retirement situation in this country, in the U.S. So um, first of all, people are retiring later. They can't retire and people are living longer and pension funds are really struggling as a result of negative real yields. And half of Americans I've learned say that they're not prepared financially for retirement. Nearly half of Americans, according to TD Ameritrade, have dipped into their retirement savings early. And 33% of Americans have no retirement plan or account at all, according to multiple studies. So, and on top of that, actually, you know, I used to be a reporter and I used to actually cover nursing homes, especially in the pandemic. And the cost of those facilities, assisted living nursing homes, they're staggering. They average at least $4,000 a month. They go up to five figures. So how can people afford that? Uh, well, many people, especially young people are ditching that traditional 60, 40 portfolio and they're allocating their retirement to Bitcoin. So I think this is really, really huge news. And again, I mean, we did go into the 40,000 range, but then we came back down. 